Alright uh, guys, uh, we have studied the total cast curves here and uh, <coughs> we see, we saw that uh, by increasing of the per unit of item produced, the total fixed cast remain fixed, it does not change, so uh, the curve we can see that is having a, a zero slope. But the total variable cast is an increasing function of output, when uh, uh, the output is increasing, the total cast is also increasing. The reason of uh, this swing kind of movement in the curve I will be explaining later in the next video <coughs> but we can see that the positive function or increasing function of uh, output when the total output is increasing the total variable cast is also increasing and uh, uh, in this total variable cast if we add this variable uh, fixed cast we get the total cast so this uh, total variable cast curve uh, parallel or somewhat uh, similar uh, uh, having similar pattern it shifts upward 60 points because uh, there is a 60 uh, dollar of uh, total fixed cast and this 60 dollar of fixed cast is added at, e at each point of uh, uh, total variable cast let's say if I am having this uh, um, uh, point so by adding 60 uh, a fixed cast in this total variable cast I'll get uh, this total cast so this is uh, total variable cast plus 60 it become total cast total variable cast plus 60 it become total cast so this difference between these total variable cast and total cast remain fixed and that is the fixed cast portion so uh, we have uh, seen uh, uh, all this into in, 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 the, in the graph in the previous uh, video Similarly, now we are heading towards the average cast concepts. Average cast concept is very much important because, uh, as I said earlier in this previous graph, that uh, the swing in this curve uh, I'll be explaining later. Uh, but uh, at this point, I can tell you that the swing of uh, this curve is mainly depend upon the average cast cast concept. Now, what are the average cast concept? You have uh, 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 you, you have an idea about the per unit cast. Uh, in other sciences in accounting and uh, in in many uh, places you have uh, uh, learned or listened the concept of average cast uh, we, s we we have uh, we know that the total cast uh, is having two kind of portion fixed cast and uh, variable cast so every variable uh, average cast concept is the per unit cast cast average fixed cast is the total fixed cost divided by the number of unit produced the result is the fixed cost of per unit of output so average fixed cost is total fixed cost divided by total output it it gives us uh, the per unit kind of concept you will be getting better explanation uh, after this slide uh, w uh, in the table <coughs> when we will be doing it in, in uh, uh, mathematically uh, average uh, variable cost is the total variable cost divided by the level of output it gives me that per unit variable cost. Per unit variable cost can be cal collected by the dividing total variable cost to the total output. The average total cost uh, is also a U-shaped curve because average total cost is the total cost divided by the level of output. Average total cost is the total cost divided by the level of output. Average total cost can be said, uh, can be uh, called uh, the per unit total cost. So thus how we can calculate the average fixed cost, average variable cost and average total cost. Uh, how does it work? Let's see in the table. So this is the same table, output level. It is starting from 1, 2, 3 and up to 11. That is total fixed cost which was remain fixed at rupees 60. Uh, and uh, now in, 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 in this column uh, we have calculated the average fixed cost. Average fixed cost is total fixed cost divided by quantity. Uh, if somebody is producing one item uh, in, uh, in with, with having fixed cost rupees 60 or dollar 60 so that one item is produced in 60 dollars but uh, if uh, uh, in the same 60 dollars I am producing two unit of output so these 60 dollars is being divided by the two items so per unit cost become 30 dollars so we are producing one item in 30 dollars and uh, two items in total in sixty dollars. And similarly, uh, uh, similar pattern with the will will continue in this column. Let's say another uh, example. We can say that the in in rupees uh, in dollar sixty, same amount of dollar. We are producing uh, six item of production. So uh, by dividing this sixty to six, we get ten dollar as per unit cost. 
per unit cost uh, that's how we can calculate by dividing total fixed cost to the quantity and uh, this is total variable cost uh, we have seen in the previous lecture total variable cost uh, is starting from 45 60 72 and uh, goes increased uh, by the level of uh, production increased but uh, when we are dividing this total variable cost to the quantity we get average variable cost per unit variable cost uh, if uh, I am producing one item and spending $45 in that item I'm I'm, I'm producing this one item in $45 but if I'm uh, producing two dollars and spending sixty dollars in, in those two items so I am spending thirty dollars on one item in these two so that will become a per unit variable cost similarly if uh, I'm, I'm talking about this uh, uh, level where we are producing ten item of output and spending two hundred of total uh, variable cost so dividing this two hundred to these 10 items we get $20 as per unit cost so thus uh, this column uh, we can calculate by dividing total variable cost to the quantity and by adding uh, uh, the total fixed cost and total variable cost we get total cost function as uh, uh, explained in the previous slides uh, now we can also uh, calculate uh, uh, average total cost by dividing total cost to the quantity uh, total cost is rupees 105 uh, 60 of uh, out of out of this uh, 60 is of our total fixed cost and 45 is our total variable cost by adding 60 plus 45 we get 105 dollars of producing one item so this one item is produced in, 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 in at the cost of 105 dollar but uh, uh, we see that the rupee 60 is remain fixed uh, but uh, 60 variable cost uh, is uh, coming on producing two item of dollar so these two items uh, are being produced 60 of fixed cost 60 of variable cost in, in total 120 dollar uh, of uh, this total cost in these two items so by dividing this 120 into two uh, by the two we get 60 dollars each item per unit cost per unit total cost so thus we can calculate uh, total uh, uh, dividing by the quantity we can calculate the average total cost per unit total cost uh, so uh, this table shows the average cost since the average cost is calculated from the total cost the total cost is also shown the average fixed cost is uh, the total fixed cost divided by the output the average variable cost is the total variable cost divided by the output and the average total cost is the total cost divided by the output uh, you should also see that the average total average cost is the sum of the uh, average fixed cost and average variable cost now um, uh, um, by observing the uh, behavior of this average uh, fixed cost you see that average fixed cost is uh, decreasing and is it is it is having a continuous decreasing pattern because the same amount is being divided again and again uh, so it cannot be in, uh, increased or having some kind of uh, upward trend it would be always decreasing and decreasing Wh where the average variable cost uh, you can see that the average variable cost is starting from the 45 then uh, it uh, decreased to 30 that is again decreased to 24 uh, 20 18 17 and it gets to the minimum level of 16.6 uh, and after this 16.6 uh, uh, are the of the seven item it again start increasing so uh, it is increasing and it goes uh, to increase uh, later on so we can see that the average variable cost is declining initially it gets to the minimum point and it uh, starts increasing uh, <coughs> later on similar pattern we can see that the average variable cost average total cost is also uh, starting from 105 uh, it is uh, decreasing and uh, decreasing and get to the minimum level uh, which we say that there 24.5 uh, is the minimum level of uh, average total cost and after that this average variable average total cost uh, is start uh, uh, increasing again so these kinds of pattern uh, should be in, in mind uh, because uh, for getting a better understanding of the profit maximization these behaviors can be uh, uh, can 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 help us very uh, greatly so these behavior can be explained in this graph we have seen that 
the average variable average fixed cost was declining and declining and declining uh, uh, this is the average fixed cost curve you can see this this is the average fixed cost curve and it is uh, having a decreasing pattern initially it uh, decreased sharply and that then afterward uh, the fall of this average fixed cost is uh, not that much sharp but it is decreasing where the average variable cost it is, uh, is, it is start uh, it is declining it get to the minimum point and then it's again goes to incline similar pattern in the at AT atc average total cost is also again in a start declining but having uh, the minimum Mm, uh, cast uh, point it uh, starts uh, increasing again.